everyone, welcome back to Old World Home. Today is Sunday as I'm filming this and it is nap time, quiet time, and I have quite a few different projects that I've been working on kind of around the house that I figured I would take you guys along just to show you what I am up to today, hoping to have a productive Sunday. We had a really nice morning, nice brunch together, and now I'm ready to get some stuff done. So we actually have someone coming to take down a tree that unfortunately has died. It's really sad, it's like a nice tree. And over the past couple of years, we've noticed that the leaves have been sparser and sparser, if that's a word, more and more sparse. And this season, it, there's no leaves at all. It's dead. So it has to be taken down. So that while that's happening, I'm hoping to get some stuff done inside. So this wall here to the left of the fireplace, you can see I've taken all of the art off of it and then started to patch some holes and some nicks and dings. It is such a high traffic wall, just, you know, kind of the pathway between the living room and the kitchen that it just has kind of taken a beating. And then this armchair, which I used to always have in this corner, unfortunately, I, it doesn't seem sharp or anything, but it has actually been kind of scratching the wall. So I had to fill that in. We've actually just, been like pulling it out and keeping it as part of the living room more and I, I actually really like it there and then we used to have a lamp here and a little side table and I've just gotten rid of those just allowing this space to be more open for the time being I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna do about artwork on this wall it has always kind of stumped me but what I am sure of is that I'm going to give it a fresh coat of paint like I said I already filled in all of the little nicks and everything I sanded it all I vacuumed so I'm ready to paint in just a second and then I did the same thing on this wall can you tell like where my kids are running and chairs have banged up against it it just has taken a beating so we did add these to the corners which have helped a lot um, just a little piece of like corner trim and that helps to protect just the edge but <laughs> this wall over six years has just really taken a hit. So I'm gonna go ahead and give all that a fresh coat of paint during this quiet time. Uh, older kids are outside, they're probably gonna help with the tree in some way, taking stuff to the woods. And I'm gonna get to painting. check the time see how long it took me it wasn't terribly long it's still drying which is obviously why it looks kind of patchy so just here I just did that kind of strip there it's the same color as the rest of the walls but you know I, I don't like to just paint right in one spot I just feel like even though it's the same color it still is noticeable so I try to do you know like a a full patch if I can. So that is done. Just need to wash up my brushes. The tree came down, which you guys saw. So I'm really happy about that. Now we just have to do that clean up and get all the, all the logs and everything out. So because I took down the art off this wall to paint it a couple days ago, I actually tested out the horse prints up here that used to be on that wall, or at least one of them had been on that wall. I've rearranged things a lot, but if you remember, I had the silver up here for many years and it just was getting too tarnished. I just was kind of sick of polishing it all the time. 
So I tried out the horse art up here and I actually really like it. And I like it better in the dining room because it's a little dimmer in here. It doesn't have like the direct sunlight streaming in on it. I also put this plate up here. I did that a little while ago. This little like strawberry plate. I got that at a yard sale and it just looks cute on that little piece of wall there. So I don't have these hung as you can see, they're just resting. So I'm trying to decide if I want to permanently put them there. I mean, honestly, it's just a nail in the wall. It's no big deal if I later decide I want to change it. So I think, I, I think I'll go ahead and do it because I do like it. So let's do it. All right, those are hung and I really like it. Like I said, doesn't have to be there forever. Nothing has to be totally set in stone, but I really like that. It's hard to really see it with when the light's in the way, the lamp, but that looks good. And we actually did, if you noticed, get a new dining set. I had been looking literally for years to find a new set on Marketplace, of course. We already had these chairs, but I found this gorgeous antique dining set with, it came with six chairs, it came with two armchairs for the ends, but I already had the fabric ones and I actually really like the mix of the wood and the linen. Sometimes we just stick them off to the side next to the little china cabinet, but yeah, they're really great. I think they said the table was, I mean, it's definitely over a hundred years old, but in awesome condition pristine honestly we're probably gonna <laughs> make it a little more broken in but it also came with two leaves so it extends really far and the lady messaged me recently and said that she had a third leaf that she didn't realize uh, she wasn't she didn't give me so we can make it even wider so that's a really awesome find all right I got the paint things cleared up and just kind of tidied up the living room but I'd also give you a shot of what it looks like not terribly different than the last time you've seen it. Now just with a little bit of fresh paint. And like I said, we've been pulling this chair out and I really like it. It makes this seating area so cozy. Those are the things that were on that wall. I need to figure out what to do with them. And that's actually a new pillow. You're gonna hear more about that soon. That was a thrifted find. The books on that side are books I've read. And then the books over here are mostly like my husband's things. And yeah, that's basically how that looks. Those are kids' books and library books. And yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Mantle's always a work in progress, like that art. <laughs> it shouldn't really be there. It's just resting there temporarily. But yeah, that is how the living room's looking as of late. And still have my floral curtains up, still loving those. This shade actually, if you saw my bedroom makeover, it's a funny story. I actually wound up finding this shade. The lady that I bought my ones for our bedroom from, she sold them to me. They were with lamps. I wound up donating the lamps and just keeping the shades. And she had a third one pop up. So the two were sold together and then she listed another one. So I actually was able to get this one. It's gray. The other ones in my room are green, but this one is gray, which I don't really do a ton of gray. I guess the walls are kind of gray-ish. Um, but yeah, I just swapped that out for the other shade I had on that lamp there. And then we have more library books to return. That's not usually there. So anyways, I know I mentioned kind of wanting to do like a refresh in the living room. This is sort of part of that phase of just getting the walls touched up we might be changing out our rug and the couch as well just because the couch has some ripping going on this arm that always has a blanket draped over it is ripping so anyways just little by little you know it's fun to shake things up and update as you go and as seasons of life change but yeah we're loving this little cozy setup all right, so it's a couple days later. We wound up just doing a lot of cleanup of the tree that they took down yesterday. So today we're working on some planting and things 
here in the back of our house along this back wall. So the plan is to plant these six hostas. Honestly, I should have got a few more, but everyone keeps telling me that they will grow and spread out. So I just got the six and we can always add on. And then these two are blueberry bushes. So we're gonna do blueberries here. And then in this little pink baby pool, we are gonna do strawberries. A friend of mine did this and it was so adorable. I'm definitely copying her. We actually had to get this at PetSmart. That's why there's like dog bones all over it because it was the only place I could find that had a pink hard plastic baby pool. So we wound up getting a couple different types. These were from Lowe's and you can see they're really sad and like kind of dying, but they were on clearance and they were half off. So we're gonna attempt to revive them, but then we got some much healthier plants as well from a local little farm stand and they already have quite a few strawberries um, on them already. There's some back here too. So the plan is to actually poke some holes in the bottom of this so that it has some water drainage. And then we have some potting soil that we'll fill it with and then plant the strawberries in it. Those are all in. Got my blueberry bushes in. I really should have taken out all of this grass and things and weeds, but honestly, I just wanted to get the plants in because I had the time to do it. And I got my strawberries in and they're looking so cute. They're already perking up a little after getting some water and some sunlight. So I'll probably come back out later or the kids will help me and we'll just get rid of all of these weeds and everything and I could mulch it. And I already have some blooms getting ready to open up pretty soon. And like I said, these could double and triple in size and I'm hoping that they will to really fill in this space. So the last thing I want to include in this video of some updates I've been doing around the house, I'm actually in my car, in my van, and I did that sort of seasonal switch over that I like to do if you have been following my channel for any time. You may remember that pretty much around this time every year, I like to restock my car, sort of clean it out and restock it of items that I would need more throughout the summer because some items, you know, expire or I just need to replenish. All right, so sitting in the driver's seat, the things that I have ready access to are obviously my center console. So we keep tissues down here and phone chargers. And then in this little compartment, things I use frequently are chapstick and little tooth flossers either for myself or my children. And then in the center compartment, we have diapers and wipes and also these Clorox wipes, which are nice to have for wiping down picnic tables, port potties things like that. And then a little backup deodorant, just in case you should need it, and some hair scrunchies for any of the girls. And then we actually have two glove boxes in the top. The really the only things I access are the remote for the DVD player if we're going on a long trip. And then I have some pens and a tire pressure gauge. And then in this one, I have some plastic straws because some places only give you paper straws and drinking with a paper straw is just pointless because it all dissolves so I like to have my own and then we have some spoons just in case you 
need one and then just some plastic bags they're just loose plastic bags that i have in a bigger bag and that's good just for you know collecting and tossing garbage or diapers or anything like that just because i don't like to keep you know any garbage in the car and then on my driver's side door let me see if i can show this i have some lotion because very often i like to put on lotion when i'm in the car on my legs or my arms and then in this little like leather cup that I probably thrifted, I just have some Excedrin migraine, just again for myself or my husband if we need it. And then I have just a little cloth, a little dusting cloth. I like to, you know, if I'm stopped somewhere, I'll just dust off the dashboard or, you know, like the screen here. Sometimes I'll dust it when I'm sitting at a red light or something like that. So that's pretty much everything up here. Let me show you the door. All right, so on the passenger side door, I have some baby powder, which is essential if you take kids to anywhere where there's sand, you just dust it onto them and the sand just wipes right off. It's an essential for us. And then I have a little first aid kit, but I did just restock it with little band-aids and like the bigger ones that are good for scraped knees and things like that. And then I do also keep in here, which has come in handy a few times, a little nail clipper. So that's really handy to have. We have some of this antibacterial foam that you can spray on, little magnifying glass and tweezers in case you need to get a splinter. So all that's good to have. And then next to the first aid, I have some bug spray, just again, a handy thing when we're out and about and maybe someone else doesn't have it. And then I did pick up this, it's some anti-itch spray, which it says you can use for like insect bites or minor cuts or rashes or anything like that. So again, just handy when you're out at a park, at a friend's house somewhere, and you don't have your normal stuff you have at home, just handy to have those things with us. And then in the trunk, I have this organizer that hangs across the back. It just clips under the headrest. And in the ends here, I have backup clothes and a bathing suit for the boys and then backup clothes for the girls. I don't have bathing suits in here for them just because they don't have double bathing suits like I have for the boys, but those are really handy for just impromptu water play. I started doing that because a few times we've just randomly been at someone's house and the kids want to play in the pool or something like that and I'm not prepared. So just having them in the car is really handy. And then here I just have some little plastic cups, a whole sleeve of them because my daughters can easily reach back and it's good for developing Providing out little snacks like little portioned cups and then the center here I have some more diapers and then I have a backup sunscreen which I really would put on them at home before we leave to go somewhere or it would be in my pool bag so this really is just a backup and then at the very bottom I just have two umbrellas and then I pretty much always have my stroller a backup potty which is very handy and um, some shopping bags. I usually have more than this in here because in our state they don't give you shopping bags anymore. And then here I have some sort of jumping cables, some sort of jump box. I'm not quite sure. That's more something my husband put there just in case. So that is going to be it for this week of updates, projects, what we've been working on around the house, what I've been up to. We are getting ready to celebrate Memorial Day weekend this upcoming weekend. It's supposed to be gorgeous. So I hope you all have an amazing weekend if you're in the US, but if you're anywhere in the world, <laughs> have an amazing weekend. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, be sure to stick around and subscribe. Definitely have tons more projects to share and I'd love to have you be part of this community. Thanks for being here and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.